hello all so in our IPM series we will see a few more topics today so we'll see today how we can download and set up the android simulators and then we will see how we can install the applications into the android simulator for our automation testing of the mobile application and then we will see how we can download and set up the ios simulator as well and we will see how we can install the application into the ios devices that is the iphone devices okay so let's get started so coming to the uh, android simulators so uh, as we all know that uh, android is an open source so we will get the tools or the libraries related to the android is free so we will see how we can uh, what you call leverage the open source tools to install the simulator okay so basically android simulators there are uh, like several uh, what you call the tools are available to create the android simulator but today we will see the what you call the android studios inbuilt simulator so android studio is basically an ide so which the mobile developers use to develop the android application so we will use the android studio to download and set up and also it will help us to open the simulator as well okay so the steps uh, as follows so we need to uh, install the android studio first so let me show you that how we can do so first you need to open the browser and copy paste this particular url okay i'll put the links into the description below you can refer that later so as soon as you navigate to this particular browser browser url you will get the android studio so depending on your operating system whether you are using windows or mac operating system you can download the android studio and then you can install as a normal application in your system okay so that is the first thing you need to do that so once you are done with the android studio installation the second thing is that you need to download few of the components and we will see what components we need to use okay so first let's open the android studio so let's launch the android studio okay okay so when it is first time it will download few of the components uh, as a default one so wait for time uh, few time and after that you can open so you will get like this one startup uh, welcome screen then what you can do you can create a new project at the beginning okay i have already that so i'll click on that okay so as you click on this new project and then you can just move next 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 only okay so you will see one more toolbar here so as you can see here tools okay under tools you need to go to the sdk manager okay and so at the beginning if you uh, what do you call uh, few setups it will do automatically uh, once it is done then under tools you will get the sdk manager okay so under that you will see something called as a system setting and under that Android SDK so as you can see here we have three tabs one is the first tab is SDK platforms and then we have SDK tools and then SDK update sites now coming to the SDK update sites let's check all the options that are available so these are basically the links from where the components are downloading so let's keep all as checked okay now coming to the first tab that is SDK platform what basically this does this uh, this particular tab helps you to install the Android images means Android operating system System images now as we all know that uh, Android operating systems uh, like um, we have Android 3 4 5 6 up to like 9 10 whatever the versions it is upgrading now depending on which version of the Android OS you want to use on your simulator you can install to that but before to that let's make a note of this particular uh, folder okay so here you can see something Android SDK location now here you need to provide the SDK location so where exactly these components will download on your local system and keep that as a note because in future we will see how we can set up few of the environmental variables for this particular location okay 
so here as you can see so here i am selecting the android api 28 so 28 uh, so 28 so what is basically this api levels so each operating system the android has given few uh, one api level for that so like as you can see the android 8.1 that is the oreo version of the update is basically the api level 27 then the next maybe the android 9 is nothing but the 28 so depending on the what you call the version that you want to install you can select on that now here one thing you can note it down so here's something called as a show package details so now check this checkbox and see what and all components are there under this sdk or the under this image okay so here you can see the first thing is that android sdk platform so you might not want to download all the components that are there for the api level 28 but few of the options are enough to what you call download and set up your android simulator and so here android sdk platform and then source for android 28 and then after that you can install this x86 of the intel processor image so both of this you can check it and then google Google APIs that is again Intel x86 so uh, whether you are on Mac operating system or on Windows operating system I would recommend to install these many options so be it any version of the Android you are downloading you can just check these following details okay and then at the end google play intel x86 atom image so this is what so as soon as you check all these things and then you moved now see there is no restriction just to download only one uh, operating system you can download even multiple so like let's say that now here api level 28 now here here you can see 8.1 i didn't install but let's say that your requirement is to like create the simulator with respect to 8.0 and also 8.1 so that you can install all this uh, you can check the checkbox against each of the operating system okay so like that let's check those checkboxes and keep as it is now let's move to the sdk tools tab now here you can see you, i checked a few of the options let's see that one by one so one is your uh, android sdk build tool okay that you need to check and then android emulator of course and then there is a platform tools and then only tools you need to and then just skip all these things and then google play services that is what you need to check it okay and then there is something called as a HAXM installer so that this will basically accelerating your android simulator so you need to check this option and then support repository you can check this all so once you are done with the SDK platform and SDK tools tab, then what you can do, you can click on OK to download all the components. So it will take some time for you guys because you are doing for the first time. So depending on your internet speed, it will download all the components. OK, so I'm not going to download everything because it is uh, already downloaded for me. So I'll just click on cancel. OK, so as soon as you what you call downloaded all the components what you can do you can just uh, close and reopen your android studio okay and open the same dummy project that you just created and then what you can do you can go to again the tools and here you will see something as avd manager so to download the sdk components you need to click on sdk manager now what happens see let's say that tomorrow a new api level is introduced from uh, android now what you can do the same thing you can go to the sdk manager and update all the details or else check for new operating system and you can download those things so that is all about your android sdk download now so now we have downloaded and set up our sdks okay now let's go to the creating an emulator or the simulator okay now here what you can see so download the components that we are done now if we need to create an android simulator okay now for that what you need to do go to the android studio and go to the tools and here something you need to check on avd manager okay now here now one more new dialogue is appearing now just uh, uh, ignore these two entries that i have made so to create an android studio uh, i mean android simulator what you can do you can see here one button is there that is create virtual device so you can click on that here you can see all the available android models are there okay so nexus and pixels are basically the 
Google's closest uh, what you call the Android phones that are available in the market so depending on the size uh, screen size and the resolution and the density it is already pre-made so these are basically what you call your phone device names okay so depending on which phone model you want to what you call uh, replicate as a simulator that is providing here so let's say that I am selecting pixel 2 XL so which is basically 5.99 inch and also the the resolution is this much and this has some dpi density okay now select this and depending on your availability you can do those things okay now so here you have to select as phone okay now pixel 2 excel and then click on next and here you will see something interesting so whatever the android sdks we have downloaded at the beginning of this like sdk setup so those images will be listed out here so as you can see i have installed the api level of 28 so that image is showing for me like if you have multiple versions of the android images downloaded it will list out here and if you want anything new also here you can see let's say that you want to install the android oreo into your simulator then because i didn't install at the beginning so it is asking me to download so if i want oreo version i can download from here but i want only the api level 28 so i will just click on this option and then i can click on next now here something you can see so here the next dialog is saying avd name so here you can give some name to or you can leave as it is and then here uh, this startup orientation like whenever you want to launch your simulator how does it will launch whether it is portrait or landscape so make it always portrait and then leave all the options as it is do not touch anything now once you click on finish then what happens here you can see a new entry is made okay so it will take a few seconds to refresh this particular dialogue and then so once you got this then what you can do here few buttons are there so let's say first first is the triangle which is the play button so as soon as you click on this play button what happens let's see so you can see here a new android simulator is launched here like this then you can just so it is simple like as you are a normal android operating system only okay now here if you want to see with the you can go to the settings and then go to the systems and here we will see about emulator and here you can see the android version 9 okay that is nothing but the api level 28 that we have downloaded the image so that's how you will open the android simulator and here's something like you can even edit also like it will come to the same screen if you want to change the name or if you want to change the portrait to landscape you can do that okay and there is something here like let's say that few of the time you want to delete the data okay you can delete the entire you can wipe the data okay there is an option let's say that you want to recreate uh, create another image with respect to the same android simulator so you can duplicate and change the details and if you want to delete this particular entry you can click on delete so there are uh, these are the options you can just experiment with okay so that's how the uh, what do you call you can set up the androids simulators okay so let me close this one and once you are launched your simulator you can close this android studio you no longer require this one and then you can work on this one okay so this is one of the way where you can open the android to android simulator there is one more way as well so which is like a terminal commands you can use but for that you need to set up few things now remember we have the what you call provided a path of the android sdk okay so where all our components downloaded so let's go to that so it should be under your user and then your username and then you have to go to the library and then here something is android you can click on this android you can see sdk so here is what all the downloaded components are installed okay everything now to use the simulator into with through the terminal we need to set up few commands so that we need not to type this path every time okay so for that what you can do i will open my base profile so if you are on mac operating system you can 
export these commands okay so these are the environmental variables that you need to set it up so first thing is that you have to if it is mac then you have to open your base base profile okay file and under that you need to add these two lines i'll put these two lines under the description okay if you are using mac uh, windows operating system you can use this as a system variable and the value would be the path of your android sdk now that is one way that is one command oh, i mean one system variable you need to set another one is that you need to append to the path variable as well because android home is only holding your sdk location but under that we have something called as emulator and then tools and platform tools and you need to keep it in this order okay so uh, i'll put this one and then if it is uh, mac you can export this one if it is windows you have to make an entry by adding one by one all the system variables okay now here you can see the emulator okay under this you will have the emulator exe file so which will help you to what do you call to launch your android simulator let me close everything and let me close this one this as well because i want to launch this particular simulator through command so i will close this one now here what i will do i'll click the i'll type this command so here hyphen list avds okay so here you can see it is listing me two devices okay so whatever the android virtual devices i have created by using android studio those are listing here now to launch that what you can do emulator hyphen avd and then any one of this name so let's say that i want to open the first one now click on enter here you can see the emulator got launched now until unless you finished your work into the simulator do not close this particular simulator i mean this terminal because as soon uh, once you close this simulator i mean this terminal your simulator will be closed automatically okay so keep this terminal as it is if you want to what you call enter any other commands you can create a new window of the terminal and you can execute whatever commands there okay so let you to close this simulator you can close this by using this close button or else what you can do close this terminal okay and here you can say terminate oh you will open the simulator so either you can use android studio because sometimes it is uh, hectic to open the android studio and then go to the tools and then avd manager and open it so better option you can just uh, utilize these uh, terminal commands okay so that's how the android simulator download and set up and you can launch the simulator okay now let's see the ios simulator so ios simulator is a bit tricky uh, and for this actually the mac operating system is mandatory so if you are having windows operating system then you cannot execute the i mean you cannot use the iphone simulators because apple provides the uh, iphone devices only if you have a mac operating system okay so let's see these steps what uh, what and all steps we can follow so here the first thing is that you need to download the x code okay so to download the x code you need to go to this particular url so this is basically the apple developer site so you can launch this one by like this and it might ask you to create a apple id so what you can do so once you click on download it will ask you to for a apple id what you can do you can create one of yours and then you can use that so let me give my uh, apple id and then i can show you what and all available options are there so i have entered my details and then here you can see what and all details are there now let's see what and all things are there so what i can do here i can click on this releases so here you can see whatever related to the apple uh, what do you call tools those are listing here what you can do even so let me go to this release notes
okay so here you can see different versions are there so depending on which version you want if it is uh, the latest is xcode 10.2 if you want the earlier versions you can even download those things also so this is very simple like if you download it will uh, what do you call it? you will get one uh, xip file that is basically zip file only as soon as you download you can extract that one and what you can do you can to open the xcode what you can do open the spotlight and here you can search xcode okay if you are moving that uh, this particular application to your application folder then it is easy to get it through spotlight and once you enter this one i mean open the xcode you will get the what do you call the dialogue as this one as a startup okay what you can do here you can create so here you can click on the open other project and here you can select the files okay now let's see before moving into this let's see the steps okay so first thing we have downloaded the xcode and also installed okay now here uh, like to open the simulator it is a bit tricky because you need to actually have the ios source code so any application because the android is like kind of a open source so that's why it is giving you that option but uh, ios to launch any simulator you need to have the source code to get the application okay so i have i have listed few of the ios source code uh, as an open source the, those are available into the github so you can just uh, use the, those things so let's say one thing so i have this so what i will do i will go to the so this is a github project so what you can do first thing you can just uh, click on this and you can download the zip file or else clone as it is if you are familiar with the git commands and then put it into a location okay if it is a zip file extract and put it if it is a cloning then just note that uh, folder where it is downloaded okay now once you are downloaded the source code what you can do you can click on this x code and you can go to that particular source code wherever it is there and you you will see few of the file here now in that there is a one file that is let me put it into a bigger screen okay so this is the file file okay here you will see something called as ui catalog dot xcode approach so any ios source code you are downloading that will be mostly written uh, that are written mostly into the swift language and each uh, source code will have a dot xc xcode approach okay the extension is dot xcode approach so you need to find out that file from that downloaded source code and you need to open it now once you open this one it will pop up this dialog so let me minimize this one okay so here it is telling that the ui build succeeded so as soon as you open it it will build automatically okay now here is one more thing now whenever you are downloading the x code and it is actually more than 5 gigabytes of space whenever you are downloading because it is not only downloading the ide x code but with respect to that it is even downloading the what you call ios operating system as well Me means the iphone operating system see in android to get the operating system i mean the android or os we in download the sdk the same thing for uh, when you download the x code by default the ios uh, version will be downloaded so dep so there is a compatible actually if you are using x code uh, 10.2 then you will be downloading the next uh, the latest version of the ios that is 12.2 version okay so like that now what happens see this is my application here and here if you click on this you will see all the simulators okay so these are the available iphone devices that are there okay so apple is giving so depending on which uh, what you call uh, iphone type you are selecting then let's say that i am selecting the iphone x with 12.2 now from where you can see what version of the ios is currently uh, what you call downloaded what you can do okay x code and then you have to go to the x code sorry not this one x code preferences and then in the preferences you will see something components tab okay so here you can see all the available ios versions like we have the sdk versions here in the for the iphone we have these versions so depending on which version you need you can just double click on this option then it will ask you for the mac system so let me double click on one of these 
let's say 11.4 then it is asking you to give the system password so once you give the system password then it will download that particular software and then once you downloaded that one you will see even that version against of your iphone devices also okay so i am selecting iphone x and then what i will do i'll click on this play button here and then here you can say a text is coming build succeeded and here is my iphone x simulator now it will launch the simulator and also the, it will install the application as well okay so that is why we need the source code of this okay so like this and here you can see it is opening your application as well so this is a sample app that i have uh, cloned from the github okay like this so like this you can install the application now here you can close this particular uh, what do you call code base and you can close and you can access your iphone like this okay so that is how you can what do you call download the xcode and launch your simulator okay so now here few things we will see now one thing is that uh, like see let's say that my um, android device is uh, launched now to see what and all let me again open the android simulator so that i can show you both side side by side list avd and then emulator hyphen avd space and then this one okay so let's say that uh, what is the device currently you opened what you can do you can click on this adv devices so adv is again a command for the android simulators and when you type adv devices it will give you the device name okay and this one this device name you can use while automating your mobile application okay so the way we are using uh, adb devices we have for the iphone uh, or the for iphone devices also so we have this command so xc run so xc run is again a command that is by default coming so you need not to set up any variables uh, system variable okay or uh, you need not to add anything and xcode by default gives you the xc run now here if i copy this one oops sorry let me so let me type this one xc run sim ctl list so when you type list it will give you all the iphone devices that are there but e grep means it will filter out only the one that are currently running actually on your system so here closing brass and this one so here you can see okay iphone x is the device name that currently i have opened and this is basically my udid okay so whenever so sometimes what happens while running your apm test you need to provide few capabilities like udid so at that time you need to run this command xc run command i'll again put this one into the description so you can use it later okay so that's how you will get to know the device details now there is again one more way also to install the applications like you can use the xc run command as well so xc run sim ctl install booted booted is basically is used to what you call identify the currently launched or currently active simulator okay and then you have to provide the path now what is dot app file so whenever you uh, what you call you are creating an android application the extension is dot apk file but whenever you like uh, build a source code of the ios you will get the dot app file okay so like let's say that uh, like the organization is not willing to give you the source code okay but at that time what you can ask for you can ask for the dot app file you can let them know that they can give you by what you call by a usb drive or something or else they can host somewhere so that you can download okay so once you download that you can put it inside uh, what you call on your desktop or wherever you feel good and then you have to provide this path okay then launch the ios simulator as it is and then after that whatever the application you want to install you can just use this below command which will install the application into your simulator okay so 
that's how you can set up uh, what you call the Xcode and also launch the simulator to install the application now let's see that a uh, few things now we have a few more options also for Android where we can install the applications so let's say that you have set up your uh, what you call simulator and after that there are different ways you can even install the dot apk files so one of these option is like uh, if you are using your uh, real device then what you can do you can utilize the google play store okay if actually there are few uh, what you call few simulators or the avds those are coming as a pre-built with uh, what you call google play store so that you need not to reinstall those things so let me show you that real quick so open the spotlight and android devices android studio okay so here let me go to the tools and then go to the avd manager and let me try to create a new device that time i will show you so here something you will see so here listing all the device details right you can see one triangle sign here under the play store column so when this icon is there it means that if you are uh, using this particular what do you call the um, uh, uh, kind of the what do you call this is basically your frame actually right so if you are using nexus 5x or nexus 5 the google play store is coming by default if you are using real device then you need not to worry about this okay so this is how you can be sure that if the google play store is installed on your simulator or not okay so let me close these things okay so if google play store is there you can do that or else if you have what do you call apk file what you can do you can download the apk file from different sources and what you can do from your folder you can directly drag and drop to this particular simulator it will install as it is you need not to worry about anything so that's how you can install the apk file okay now for ios we have already discussed those things like uh, either you have to what you call build the source code to install the ios application or else you can download the app file and you can run by using this command so i have listed down few more links uh, for the what you call uh, open source ios source codes are there so that you can even go to the github link and you can download those applications and you can what you call build the uh, source code to get the app for your automation testing okay so that's all what uh, i have to discuss for today we'll see a few more topics in our upcoming sessions so stay tuned and do subscribe to my youtube channel thanks for watching